سؤالي هو هل يجوز للمسلم الأحمدي الصلاة بعد إمام غير أحمدي وشكرا. Please wait here. It's okay. You want to hit that? All right. Yes. Please translate. Our Ahmadi is allowed to be led in the namaz or salat behind to pray behind a non-Ahmadi Imam. Before Ahmadiyat came into being, all the Muslim sects had given the clear edict that the followers of their sects cannot say their prayer behind the Imams of other sects. This is the recorded history of the sectarian attitude of the Muslim ulama prior to Ahmadiyyad. While they had no right to, no body has a right in Islam to declare that, no, that someone should not pray behind that Imam or that Imam or that Imam. But only in case of Al-Imam Al-Mahdi, his followers cannot pray behind any other Imam. Why? The answer is very simple and very logical. There can't be any other answer. If Al-Imam Al-Ahmadi is true, if he is appointed by God, if he is the Imam created by Allah Himself, then those Ahimma who are man-made Imam, they have the courage and audacity to reject the Imam appointed by God. Can the followers of that Imam who is appointed by God accept those Ahimma to be their leaders who reject the Imam by God? It's a simple logical question. It's impossible. Those who deny the truth of an Imam appointed by God Himself, they forfeit their rights to be Imams themselves. And imagine that the Imam is the leader of the prayer and his intention is becomes the intention of every Muqtadi, everyone who follows him. His word overrides the intentions of all those who follow him. So if, for instance, an Imam is saying the Asr prayer, and you think he's saying the Zohar prayer, you say your prayer behind him, your prayer will be turned into Asr prayer. Your intention will have no meaning whatsoever. So with this authority of the Imam, imagine an Imam who rejects Hazrat Masih Maudala and prays against him in the prayer, calls him bad names, considers him to be a kafir. Can your prayer behind him be valid? It's impossible. Thank you. Please, <laughs> thank you.